In this video, I'm going to show you session view or production with regions in Reaper. Now, the idea of session view is basically from Ableton Live and a workflow that works in that software. Obviously, in Reaper, it's going to be a bit different, but you can still create a very similar workflow that to me works as well, if not better. Let's take a look. I have a project set up here with some tracks and some VST instruments on those tracks for drums, bass, piano, synth, and an arpeggio. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select all these tracks, put them in record, and change the input to MIDI and choose all MIDI inputs, all channels. This way I could use my USB MIDI keyboard or the virtual keyboard down here to trigger MIDI. Then we're going to change the record mode from record input to record MIDI overdub right over here. So we could overdub or record in loop mode without creating takes and record in multiple passes. Then I'm going to right click the tracks and turn on automatic record arm when track selected. And what that's going to do is if I select a track, only that track is in record. So if I play my USB MIDI keyboard, I hear my drums. But if I select this track instead, my bass, I hear the bass. So I can very quickly choose which track I hear and which one I'm recording at that time. And we can use keyboard shortcuts to do this even quicker. On PC, it's all control, and on Mac, it's option command. And we could use the up and down arrows to choose each track by going up and down. And we could also use a knob on our MIDI controller, which I set up already, to scroll through which track I want to work with. But I'll show you how to do that in a different video. For now, we'll just use the keyboard shortcuts. The arpeggio, or the synth, or the piano, or the bass, or the drums. So now we want to create regions that we're going to record into. So I'm going to start off by selecting from bar one to bar five, which is a four bar region, hit shift R, and that creates a region up top. So now we can double click this at any point to just work in this region. Do the same over here, double click the first one or the second one to work in different regions. But for now, let's just work on region one. And we'll start off with the drums. And because this is selected and loop mode is on down here, we can record just a four bar phrase that repeats. Let's try recording the drums. And we're gonna record this in three passes, starting with the kick and snare, then the claps and the hi-hat. So that sounds pretty good. Now to record the bass. Then the piano. Then the synth. And 
And then finally, the arpeggio. So now we're happy with this piece or this region. So now we can work on different regions. What I like to do is copy this region multiple times and play around with it that way. So I can duplicate it by holding the control on the PC, command on the Mac, and just drag it over to duplicate this region. Let's do it three times. Now we have four of them. Then we can select all of them, mute them, and just unmute different sections that we want to hear. But to switch them very quickly, go into different regions, we could double click them like this just to work on and hear just that region. Or we can create a custom keyboard shortcut to do the same thing. Go to Actions, Show Action List, and type into the filter Current Region. There's a bunch of actions right here that are going to switch to different regions after the first region finishes playing. So we could jump from region to region, trying out an arrangement. There's also an action down here that's going to set our loop points to the current region. So we can create custom actions to do both things at the same time. We could select the first one, go down here, and select this one as well. New action, new custom action. Now it's going to jump to region one and set the loop points to that region one. We can give it a name and save it. And I've already created a bunch right over here. Custom region one through eight. And that does the same thing. Goes to region one and loops the current region. So let's add a keyboard shortcut to these. I'm going to make the first one number one, the second one two, and so on. Now, by default, these numbers normally jump to different markers in Reaper. So I'm changing the default behavior. If you don't want to do that, just use whatever keyboard shortcuts you prefer. Or you could use these as alternate keyboard shortcuts too. But I'm going to change the default right here. Make this three, and so on. And now I could hit number one, it jumps to number one, or two, three, and four and so on. And it's going to play that section right after the current section finishes. So it will always sound musical. So let's create a part for region two. Let's say we want to start with just the piano. We could unmute it, jump to region two, and just hear that region. Let's say we also want to try bringing in the drums. We can go to region one, turn on the piano, turn the drums over here, jump to region one, and hear that. Although, I don't like the drums for this part. So I'll double click it. Let's delete the kick, the snare, and a few of the clap hits. So now for this region, we're just going to hear that part. And again, region two is just the piano. But now we can hit that keyboard shortcut while this is playing, and it'll jump to this one. So we can audition different arrangements on the fly. Let's create another one over here that turns on everything except for the arpeggio. Unmute it, jump to it. And we can switch on the fly to any section we want to work with.
and change the parts just in those regions. As we change the drums, we could change the bass just for here. Let's make region three play everything like this. And again, we could jump on the fly and it's not gonna switch to the next region until this region stops playing. And if we're happy with an arrangement we worked out, we could just move the regions around. We want to start with this one, just drag this one first over to here. And all the pieces or media items move with the regions as we move them. So we're starting with this one, then this one. Maybe we want to go to this one next. Let's zoom out. Maybe go back to this one. We could duplicate it, control on the PC, command on the Mac, drag this one over, drop it here and do the same with this one. So you can create an arrangement just by dragging these pieces around. We can still jump around with the keyboard shortcut to four, five, six, or two. Or hit the escape key and just play our entire arrangement. And again, at any point we want to change the arrangement, we can move things around or just work on one section by hitting that keyboard shortcut. We want to work on region one, hit the one key, and we're here. Double click it to re edit our drums, and we're done. Just that section was changed. And we want to hear the whole thing back, hit escape or W to go to the beginning, and we've created a final arrangement. So just like that, we kind of mimicked the session view workflow using regions in Reaper. So that's pretty much it. That's session view or production with regions in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you could use it and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.